Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Ayash Kabal from the GMS Virginia camp coming at you with another lesson that I pray that you find edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So, I got an article here that I'm going to get into a little bit and break out a few scriptures. Um, I got a brother who parked right behind me. He might be joining me soon. I'll be right to Zal. Um, so, basically, this is from CNBC, and the title of it reads, Russia's Putin sets out conditions for peace talks with Ukraine. And this is dated Friday, June, uh, June 14th, 2024. And, um, you know, so there's been a lot of deaths going on in the world, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, you know, things are getting real hot. So talks are going on where, you know, Russia knows just how bad it's going to get. They see it. You know, but you Jakes, you know, you don't realize, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. It's a, it's a lock here, brothers. Yeah, I'm rushing your shot, Yeah, I'm rushing your shot. What's up? Con. Um, I, I was just joined with the brother, Zariel. Shalom. Shalom. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just going into um, peace and safety. Con, as a spirit, I, uh, the uh, article, uh, Putin, because uh, he uh, got. He said that he's making uh, his people make new uh, nuclear weapons Oof. to uh, be uh, put in the works uh, towards uh, NATO and uh, East Asia and so on and so forth. Oof. Yeah, so hey, man. Yeah, it's I just going to say, hey, hey. These, <laughs> that thing's definitely heating up. Like, hey, that Joel 3 really starting to come to pass. Let mm -hmm. the weak say that I'm strong. Yeah, kind. And also, going into that, well, you know what I'm saying? We're bringing out. Oh, you want to get your article? No, no, that's We can grab your article, you know what I'm saying, because your article is good. I'll just read it real quick. All right, come. It says, uh, this is from New York Times Post. Kinda, I'll from, close this out. Uh, June 28th, 2024. So that was uh, yesterday. Mm, it says, Putin vows to make new nuclear weapons and to weigh places them near NATO nations. Mm. It says, the announcement appeared to uh, the Russian leader latest attempt to rise to raise the stakes in, conf in his conflict with the West, coming less than two weeks after his visit to North Korea. You know, so not long after, you know, the visit to North Korea, he's starting to move his uh, chess pieces. Well, we all know that it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai putting the spirit on this man to gear himself up in his army for war. Come. And Baba Kashar, if I may, this article that I was just going into was dated June 14, 2024. Come. A couple of weeks before this article came out that you're reading. So, this devil or Russia has been talking about peace uh -huh. in the land, but now that peace is going to be overwhelmed by what, what you're bringing out. Come. You got it, bro. It says President Vladimir V. Putin declared on Friday that Russia would, would produce new intermediate range mm. nuclear capable missiles and then decide whether to deploy them within a range of NATO nations. In Europe and American allies in Asia. Why do you need to uh, have new uh, intermediate nuclear uh, uh, missiles? Why? Why do you? What's the need for that? Exactly. You know, because you know, there's all this talk in America. who say, "Oh, Russia, they got old weapons and so on and so forth." Hey, well, what's the excuse now? Exactly. You know, these same weapons that the Lord is putting the spirit on. Because I brought it out, uh, Isaiah 54 and 17. Uh, the the Smith. Uh, the the. Uh, a matter of fact, I don't want to butcher it. I'm gonna read it real quick, and then you got it up. So I can. This is Isaiah chapter 54 and verse uh, seven, uh, 16. So like he says, Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals and fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. I have created the waster to destroy. So this is all the works of Yahweh Bashim Shah. He's created the, the waster to destroy and what ultimately they're going to destroy. Babylon the Great, man. This place will be utterly uh, destroyed within one hour, man. You know, so uh, hey, those uh, missiles is uh, a thousand times ten thousand, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. or thousands of thousands, which is what a hundred million of uh, missiles. And not to uh, mention, you still have those nuclear warheads that have smaller missiles within that nuclear warhead, man. Yeah, kind of not including, you know, with the 
with you know the chariots are gonna bring. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's because the chariots gonna do their work too. Huh. You know, Yahashim Yasha gonna get his in too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this place is gonna be destroyed before it even hour. Yeah, kind of. You know, by the time hey, by the time Yahweh just like how within uh these you know these fights or uh, basketball games or whatever the case may it take an hour for it to finish. Hey, the Lord gonna get it done less than an hour. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> so yeah. the Lord literally about to show you how powerful his mm -hmm. how powerful he is. You know, and he gonna bring his uh, name with a uh, fan throughout the whole earth, man. Con, I got a precept. Uh, no, no, you yeah, yeah, I'm done. All right, Con, uh, I got a precept. Uh, the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse one. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. You know, why is that being said? You know, because as long as you've been watching and listening to the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You shouldn't know what season you're in. You know, you should know what time is nigh, you know. Verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh Shimei Yahushai so cometh as a thief in the night. They ain't going to catch the elect by, you know, as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. Oh, we say through faith and not of ourselves, right? You know what I'm saying? It's going to catch, you know, the two-thirds and, and, you know, these other, and these other nations. As a thief in the night, you know? Um, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then, then the sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, you know, here it is. Russia <laughs> is talking about possible peace talks with Ukraine, which is what I was trying to bring out. And now the and now the bro is talking about more nuclear weapons being created by God, aka Russia, the bear, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? So things are definitely heating up. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is definitely making his presence known in the earth, you know, through his will, you know. You got it, bro. Con, I got this real quick preacher. This is Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time that is now, it is high time to wake out of sleep. Mm. A lot of our people are still asleep. A lot of our people still thinking that, you know, that it's going to be, oh, it's going to get bad. It's going to get worse before it gets mm -hmm. better. Well, it's not going to get better. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be the first people to tell you, hey, it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. Yeah, it's going to get better for the elect, yeah? yeah? Because we understand that the in order for the elect to have eternal peace and so on and so forth and, and rulership and righteousness, this place, Babylon the Great, has to be destroyed. But what? The people that are asleep, they think that Babylon is going to get worse and then it's going to get better. No. The scripture says that Babylon won't be inhabited anymore after, the, after World War III. You know? So it says, in that knowing the time that is now, it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now, right? Now mm -hmm. is the time. Is our salvation nearer than we believe, man? Mm -hmm. You know, and the Lord is showing us so many different signs. You had uh, the, the elders that was in uh, GMSLA, okay, that, that had an angel come behind them and then saluted mm -hmm. the camera. Yeah. So that's a sign to let you know the Lord is getting ready to send forth his angels to intervene. This nigga mm -hmm. E is literally about to, A, get into heavy of his uh, his arsenal when it's uh, pursuant to his witchcraft, his, his miracles, and deceiving the whole world with yeah. this Karabin, man. You know, we're literally entering into some heavy times, man. You know, and not to mention, hey, Acts 2.0. You know, we love to bring that out. How, like, what happened to Acts with all those miracles and mm -hmm. so on and so Hey, that's going to come into play as well. You know, a lot of people are going to be coming up and inquiring about the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, okay, in the scriptures and seeing mm -hmm. if it's true. Because, truth be told, these people are scared. Yeah, right. You know, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to be more scared. Mm -hmm. You know, they might not be listening now, mm -hmm. but at some point they're going to listen. I got this precept, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse nine. Then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man mm -hmm. and say to the wind, thus saith Yahweh Shem Shai power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain that they may live. And, you, you know, the slain that they may live is, is, you know, the whole four legs. You know, the men of Yasharala. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came upon them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. You know, so Yahweh Shem Yahushai told us to go out there and prophesy unto the wind. And, and one of the prophecies that's being coming, that's coming to pass, 
is of, you know, this nuclear war, you know, this nuclear destruction, you know, economical collapse, famines of the word and famines of food and this, that or the other, mm -hmm. you know, and we're desperately seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahushai just to recover in those days, man, you, you know, because it's going to get terrible. It's, it's, it's going to get real bad, you know, and we're speaking of all these nations who are coming together and, and you know, that's going to turn against Babylon the Great. You know, mm -hmm. that too is a part of the prophecy that that's going to come to pass, uh -huh. you know, and what then, you know, because at that last moment, a lot of you Jakes are going to be looking for understanding in terms of what's going on, you know, and you're not going to be able to find it, you know, because your how about Yahweh Shai is about to turn his back once, once, once all of these calamities start to happen in the earth. How about Shimmy Shai is allowing it to happen, of course, but you know, like as far as being there, you know, and letting you know what to do and how to act and you know, like in which way to turn in this, that, or the other, he ain't gonna be there for that. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's very important for you to get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding now. You know? Because we have but so many prophecies to go into. You know? We ain't got much longer to go. You got it, bro. Khan Salagi, I was about to uh, uh, quick pre-show so I, I had lost it. I had it queued up. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got it, you know what I'm saying? We could close out. You know, this is just a short lesson through the spirit and poverty. How about you now, Sean, back before camp? Khan, uh, uh, I think I got it. Khan. Salagi. Oh. This is Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. Mm. It says, Behold, the days come, right? And we're in those days, man, very soon, because you have a lot of, matter of fact, I don't even want to jump the gun. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not mm -hmm. a famine of bread, nor of thirst, nor for water, but the hearing of the words of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And very soon, they're going to be taking down these YouTube channels, taking down social media platforms where you're not going to be able to get this word. So the word that you did learn and, and the, uh, the word that you, you know, you studied and so on and so forth, that's what's going to be kept in you. OK, mm -hmm. so it's very important that you get that word now, get the understanding of these scriptures and hearken unto the Lord. Y'all by Shemiel Shabbat, hearkening unto his prophets, man, receiving his counsel and wisdom to build you up. So that way, when you are in Jacob's trouble, you have, OK, discernment. OK, you have wisdom, as an understanding. You know how to maneuver and you know how to protect yourself. Okay, mm -hmm. by uh, hey, putting on that whole armor, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because the, these people who, who scoff and these people who not taking this thing seriously because it hasn't really affected them in their life. Mm -hmm. Hey, when it when it starts to affect them, they're gonna wish that they did hearken unto the words of Yahweh by Shimei mm -hmm. and then hey, hey, and suddenly a hey, wrath and destruction is gonna come upon those uh, children of disobedience. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, come. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures say, "Watch as well as pray." Come. What are you watching for? You watching for the prophecies? You watching for events that you know the brother just brought out in that article, you know, to come to pass. Because how else are you gonna know what time you're in, mm -hmm. unless you're watching the news, unless you're listening to the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, unless you're being circumspect like the brother just brought out a moment ago, unless you're doing all these things, you're gonna fall by the wayside and not understand exactly what's going on, you know. Because when that famine of the word happens, you're not gonna hear about the talks that. Russia have with these other nations. You're not going to hear about the negotiations that's going on, that that the news presents. All of that's going to be gone. So you're going to be stuck in a situation where you don't even know what's going on in the world, only what's going on in your backyard. And you're going to be caught up in that. You know what I'm saying? So now is the time to get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding before it's too late. You know, and we're going closer and closer into world war you know with with Gog and Magog you know okay. unless you got something else bro you can close out yeah it comes so you know Lord willing says a blessing was edifying to the hopeful elect mm -hmm. uh, we gonna end off and give all praise out and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rechach double honors to our apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone who we will and teach well the sound doctrine peace love and salutation to Yachim out there with, uh, who's <laughs> pushing the word with truth and sincerity? Until the next time, shalom. Shalom.